Okay, we're going to check out the transformation tools in Onshape. I'm currently in a sketch, and let me just make a, a shape. How about a triangle? All right. And then right here, there's actually a, a the icon that you're going to see in your toolbar depends on what tool you use last. So you could have any one of those three. So there is the transform tool, the circular pattern tool, and the linear pattern tool. So I'm going to go to transform, and I'm going to turn that tool on, and then I'm going to select the whole triangle. Okay, and then show you that within this tool you can um, perform what's called a translation, which is where you slide. I'm just grabbing that square. I'm holding my mouse button as I slide it. Um, I get a preview of where it's going to go. I can double click uh, the, or actually now just one more click of my left mouse and it moves into that new position. Um, I can uh, translate just horizontally or vertically using the arrows. You can type in here an exact precise value that you want to move. And also you can perform a rotation and you can see that you can type in an exact angle amount. Okay, um, now in math class you learn about translation slides where the object maintains its orientation and just moves, um, slides to new location. You learn about rotations, which we just did, and then the other one are reflections, and in here it's called the mirror, it's the next tool over. Now in order to mirror, you're going to need a line to mirror over, um, and I, I guess it could be one of the lines of your actual sketch, but I'm going to make a new line. Um, I could even make that a construction line. I could right click on it and choose construction. It'll be a dashed construction line. And then I'll turn on the mirror tool. And the mirror tool needs an object that says select entities to be mirrored. So I can go through and select just one thing or all the things, right, of the triangle, all the sides of the triangle. Um, and it already must have picked up on, let me hit escape and control Z to undo. I mirrored those in steps. I want to make sure that nothing was selected because I think that was already highlighted. So when I turn this tool on, it says first select a mirror line. If you already have your line highlighted, it skipped that step for me. So you may have to pick the line you're going to reflect over and then go pick the entities to mirror. And then here's the nice thing. Oh, I don't want to finish the sketch. Sorry. I'm going to turn off the mirror tool. So that's done. And you can see Right, as I change the original shape, the other one maintains a mirror image of it. One nice thing though, you may think of this as the independent shape and this the dependent. On shape allows me to now go back and to delete the original shape and the mirror line. And I do not have to keep those where this, in, in some programs I've discovered that, you know, this is kind of always seen as being driven by the independent and the independent needs to stay there. And so um, that's kind of a nice feature. So there you go. Those are our three basic transformations, um, our translation, our slide, our rotation, and our flip, our reflection. So that is the button you're looking for, transform, and there's the mirror button.